When it comes to buying the right products, there's a lot to look out for. That's why today, we've picked and reviewed the five best models for you. We've spent many hours researching these products, and we've ranked them by many different factors, such as price, quality, durability, performance, and more. You can see their prices and find out more information about these products by using the links in the description down below. To make it easier, we will include timestamps there in the description. Let's not waste any more time and get started with the video. Before you start choosing anything else about your laptop, determine the size you need. This is more about the portability of the laptop, however you should know that super light and small systems can't have the best performance part. There are different categories of laptop sizes you can choose from. For example, there are laptops with sizes from 11 to 12 inches that are the thinnest and the lightest. After that, there are 13 and 14 inch laptops that are the best in terms of balance between performance and portability. And moving on, there are 15 and 16 inch laptops that are the most popular and are pretty heavy in my opinion. In the end, you'll spot 17 and 18 inch laptops which are immensely large and will not be portable at all. These are mostly workstation grade machines. Before moving on, I should mention that two-in-one devices have also risen in popularity and are excellent choices. Secondly, platform. This is not an easy choice as there are now three main candidates for the platform you can choose on your laptop. Those three types that I mentioned are Windows, Mac and Chrome OS, each of them delivering some desirable qualities and some disadvantages as well. The Windows OS is one of the most flexible systems out there, delivering versatility. I should also state that it's the most popular system. Mac OS systems are present on all Apple MacBook devices and are pretty similar to Windows with a more refined feel. Chrome OS is the newest edition and it's super simple and secure with a bit of limited set of features especially designed for cheaper devices. Thirdly, performance specs. Before buying any laptop you have to take a closer look at the performance specifications of the machine you're planning to buy. These specs include things such as processor of your device, RAM, hard drive size and type, graphics unit and others. You might not be the most technically inclined person but you can easily understand these specs and make sure you get enough to cover your needs. On this list for the best laptops of the year we're going to start with the HP Spectre X360 which is the best 2-in-1 laptop you can buy right now. There are a lot of 2-in-1s out there but this one takes the cake as it has a great style, superb performance and tons of security features that we love to see. If you're eyeing a 2-in-1 and want the very best, this is it. We're looking today at the latest iteration of this laptop, which right out of the box looks like a quality piece of equipment. It has a brushed metal finish on its casing which gives it a beautiful look and a sturdy feeling. It has a great build quality despite being a 2-in-1 model that has 360 degree hinges. The weight of this laptop is pretty much just over a kilogram which is great for portability. It's rather thin overall and it does a great job at being one of the most beautiful laptops I've ever seen. HP has struck a gold mine here. In terms of connectivity, it has plenty for its size, including a USB Type A 3.1 port, two USB Type C ports with Thunderbolt 3, micro SD reader, and a 3.5mm AUX jack. We're taking a look today at the 15.6 inch display version of the HP Spectre X360. It's based around an AMOLED 4K display, which is pretty good overall at delivering plenty of brightness, amazing contrast, and colors that impress everybody. On top of that, it has 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of SDD, and 32 gigabytes of Optane memory to make things ultra fast. For graphics, it's equipped with an NVIDIA GeForce MX250 unit with two gigabytes of VRAM to keep things running smooth. Coming up next, we have one of my favorite laptops, the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3. This is one of my favorite laptops because it's one of the most portable choices you can make as it delivers lightweight performance, great battery life, solid performance, colorful display and Microsoft support for everything. It's definitely one of the safest choices. The Microsoft Surface Laptop 3 comes with a perfect design that's immensely classy, one of my favorite designs out there. I'd just complain about the bezels around the screen which are thick for today's ultra portable standards. Then again, everything has its disadvantages. The Microsoft Surface Laptop 3 comes in different colors including sandstone, platinum, cobalt blue and matte black, all of which are pretty much flawless. 
The whole thing measures just 0.57 inches in total, which is great overall, and it weighs just 3.54 pounds, which is amazing for a 15-inch laptop. The Microsoft Surface Laptop 3 doesn't have a good port selection though, as it has just a USB 3.0, a USB Type-C and a headphone jack, which is not enough for today's standards. But that's pretty much the only con of this laptop. The Microsoft Surface Laptop 3 is packed with a 15-inch in-plane switching panel that's pretty much excellent in terms of brightness, colour and contrast. The response times are good as well and you can operate this laptop outdoors without any problem. For performance, the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3 is equipped with some high-end parts. For example, it has the AMD Ryzen 7 processing unit, which is brand new and delivers a smooth and speedy performance. Moving on, it also has 16GB of RAM and 512GB of SSD, unquestionably one of the fastest ultra-portable laptops around. I was also impressed with the 11-hour battery life of this beast, which was great. Coming up next on our list, we have a great entry that's perfect for gamers, the Asus ROG Strix G15. This is one of the flashiest and most advanced gaming laptops you'll ever see. On top of that, it's not a super heavy device that you can't carry around, as manufacturers have found a way of packing high-end performance parts and cooling into thin bodies. The Strix G15 will impress you. Asus might have released the ROG Zephyrus Duo 15 this year as well, which has a dual-screen design that's amazing, but I still think that the Asus ROG Strix G15 is a better and more refined laptop that will be widely accepted by all gamers out there. It has the new Electro Punk inspired design that has some Blade Runner vibes to it, which I'm a big fan of. It's the ROG style with a twist. As far as gaming laptops go, this is my favourite design overall. It has a brushed metal body all around with some interesting patterns to it to create a nice texture. Moving on, it has some lights on the bottom that are my favourite thing about this design. The whole thing measures just 25mm thick, which is amazing for a gaming laptop, but it weighs a substantial 2.4kg, but it is a desktop replacement without a doubt. I should also state that the Asus ROG Strix G15 has plenty of connectivity ports including three USB Type-A ports, a USB Type-C with Thunderbolt 3, HDMI and Ethernet to deliver great options. On the front it has a 15.6 inch glossy in-plane switching panel that delivers plenty of colours and sharpness with its full HD 1080p resolution. However, its biggest selling point is the 240Hz refresh rate that delivers super smooth gaming. For graphics it has the most advanced NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 Super which is combined with 8GB of VRAM with ROG Boost. For cooling it also has the ROG Intelligent Cooling with Thermal Grizzly Liquid Metal Compound. The Apple MacBook Pro 16-inch is the next entry on this list and it's the best laptop for video editing and graphic design purposes. I can also say that it's the best MacBook ever made. It has an immersive display, great new keyboard, speakers that pump up plenty of sound and great performance specs that allow you to get through anything. At the first impression, the Apple MacBook Pro 16-inch doesn't look that much different from the 15-inch version of the device, which is amazing as there's more screen real estate but roughly the same size. It's slightly bigger than the 15-inch version by just some millimetres. It's also just 24.6mm thick and its thickest point, and it weighs around 4.3 pounds. The keyboard is also pretty good with a new Magic Keyboard that's clicky and satisfying to type on. As a writer, I didn't lose speed at all, and it delivers great stability with the scissor mechanism. The brightness is also great at 500 nits. Moving on to the performance, the Apple MacBook Pro 16-inch has a class-leading 9th generation 6-core Intel Core i7 processor, which has the complementary Intel UHD Graphics 630 unit. There's also the ultra-fast 512GB of SSD and 16GB of RAM, which delivers a great performance. It has a dedicated graphics unit as well, besides the integrated one, the AMD Radeon Pro 5300M unit with GDDR6 memory making it a beast. If I had to choose just one laptop to rule them all, I would pick the Dell XPS 15. This laptop unmistakably is the strongest all-rounder out there. It has an amazing panel, superb specs for both graphics and processing, beautiful design and so much more. The Dell XPS 15 is made out of aluminium and carbon fibre that makes this laptop super durable and lightweight at the same time. In addition to those, the construction also makes this laptop one of the most stylish ones out there. On the back, it has the sleek and understated Dell logo with a silver anodized aluminium lid. It's supremely rigid and you won't feel any fragility with this one. 
The laptop measures 0.7 inches at its thickest point and it weighs just 4.5 pounds. It has a good selection of ports though, with USB Type A ports, Thunderbolt 3 ports, HDMI, SD card slot, and AUX port. The 15.6 inch panel is an OLED one that delivers 4K resolution without any compromise. It's immensely bright at 626 nits, and it can reproduce about 239% of the sRGB color space, which is the best. Moving down to the performance specs, it has a 9th generation Intel Core i7-9750H CPU unit with 16GB of RAM and 1TB of high-speed SSD to deliver plenty of speed. It also has the excellent NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 graphics unit with 4GB of GDDR5 VRAM to provide enough graphical oomph to get you through anything. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.